Alright, here we go. Yes, it's finally here. After two years in the making, MC6 Pro is a reality. Before we dive in, a big thank you for the incredible love for MC6 Pro. The first batch sold out in less than 30 minutes and we really did not expect that. We were happy about that but also slightly concerned because we wanted as many of you as possible to get one. Well, the good news is MC6 Pro is now back in stock and available immediately on our online store. And most importantly, we are just happy to have created something that our users really seem to like. The purpose of this video is for you to experience MC6 Pro as if you have it right there with you. So you know by the end of this video if this controller is right for you. MC6 Pro is a fully programmable MIDI controller and can send any type of MIDI messages you need. Wait a minute, doesn't that sound like the rest of our controllers? So what makes it different from the rest? Well, quite a lot actually. First up, let's do a quick size comparison to see how MC6 Pro's footprint stacks up against the rest. Here we have the MC3, 6 and 8. And as you can see, MC6 Pro is slightly wider than the MC6 Mark II. This offers a little more space between switches for your feet while still maintaining the right spacing to bank up and down with dual switch presses. It is significantly smaller than the MC8 while offering better visual feedback and even more I.O. connections. MC6 Pro has a brand new processor and 128 banks, a huge leap from the 30 banks on earlier controllers. Each bank now has 4 pages instead of the usual 2. That's a total of more than 3000 presets at your disposal. You can page up and down with dual switch presses on the top row and bank up and down as usual with the bottom row switches. Now, the first thing that strikes you when you see MC6 Pro is definitely going to be its triple color screen display. These LCD displays are capable of presenting text, colors, and symbols clearly for a much improved viewing experience and enhanced visual feedback. With the increased screen real estate, important information can constantly be displayed. The leftmost screen shows the preset long name of the last pressed switch. The middle screen contains your current bank name, and the final screen lets you know your expression pedal position, which bank and page you're on, and MIDI clock BPM. These color displays also allow for one of the most exciting visual features of MC6 Pro, color strips. Color strips can be added to each of your presets to color code them. At this moment, there are a total of 50 different colors for you to choose from. You can use color strips to group certain types of presets together. Or you can also use color strips to differentiate presets for easier identification. Color strips can dim or brighten to reflect the state of each preset. This lets you identify your presets by color even when they are not engaged. Here we have a bank containing switches that engage and bypass different effects. The bypass states of each effect is clearly shown by whether a color strip is bright or dim. We can toggle effects on and off and immediately get feedback about whether they have been engaged or bypassed. In another scenario, here is a bank containing various presets. In this case, we want only one color strip to be bright at any one time because activating one preset will disengage the last active preset. We can easily achieve that by enabling the clear preset toggle setting found under bank settings. So now when I press any switch within this bank, it lights up and automatically dims the last lit color strip. Selecting colors on MC6 Pro is easy. In the Morningstar editor, simply choose the color you want for each toggle state of your preset. You can have different colors for toggle position 1, position 2, and the shift state. If you don't know what the shift state is, check out this video. In this case, I have dimmed orange as my initial color in toggle position 1 and bright orange in toggle position 2. You can also customize text and background colors in the same way you do with color strips. They can reflect the toggle states of your presets too, or be another way for you to personalize your controller visually. But that's not all. You can also customize your MC6 Pro further by changing the background and text colors of the center section. This can be done under bank settings. All you need to do is select on enter bank, choose the utility message type, and decide on what background and text color you want. You can also add an on exit bank message to revert colors back to your default scheme if you want. If you don't, all banks will be changed to the new color scheme. You can have different color schemes for each different bank. We wanted MC6 Pro to present text in the clearest way possible, even from a distance. That is why font size varies automatically depending on the length of your bank and preset names. A longer name will result in smaller text, and a shorter name will produce larger text. Font size can get pretty big, as you can see. This is great for users who need larger text for their eyes. You can now add icons to your bank and preset names in conjunction with text. This allows for quicker and more intuitive identification of what each switch does. Here are some examples with icons compared to preset names without icons. The full list of icons available can be found in the MC6 Pro user manual. Link below if you want to take a look.
Moving on to the rear panel of MC6 Pro, you'll find a comprehensive array of connections that allow you to control a wider variety of devices than ever before. First up, standard 5-pin MIDI in and out ports. TRS MIDI is great and has been gaining popularity in recent years, but DIN 5 MIDI is still very widely used. It also offers some benefits such as the ability to receive phantom power, which MC6 Pro does via its MIDI out port. The MIDI out port also functions as a MIDI through port, able to relay MIDI messages received via MC6 Pro's MIDI inputs and USB port. MC6 Pro also boasts four Omni ports, the same number the MC8 has despite it having a significantly smaller footprint than the MC8. Omni ports can function as TRS MIDI outputs, expression pedal inputs, or aux switch inputs and each port can be independently configured to best suit your needs. Right above the Omni port, you will find two brand new 3.5mm TRS relay ports. For the first time ever, you will be able to control non-MIDI devices that employ relay switching directly from your Morningstar controller. This includes amp channel switching, tempo control for delay pedals with tap inputs, favorite switching for Strymon pedals, red remote control over JHS pedals, and really, just any device that has a relay control port. You can pull tip to sleeve, ring to sleeve, or both to sleeve for each of the relay ports, allowing you to have three different configurations per relay port. There are some other cool things that you can do with the relay ports, but we'll save them for a future, more in-depth video. MC6 Pro has two USB Type-C ports. The device port is just like the USB port found on our other controllers, allowing you to connect to your computer for control over your DAWs and favorite music software. MC6 Pro can also be USB bus powered via the device port. The second USB-C port is a USB host port. With this, you can connect directly to and control other MIDI USB devices without the need for a separate MIDI USB host, which is both costly and cumbersome. Such MIDI USB devices include the Source Audio C4 Synth, Line 6 Pod Go, and Zoom Multi Stomps. But that's not all. We've also added 3.5mm TRS MIDI in and out ports to the side of MC6 Pro. These not only function as extra MIDI in and out ports, but also make MC6 Pro wireless MIDI ready. Simply connect a wireless MIDI adapter like this CME Pro WIDI jack and gain access to wireless MIDI connectivity. These ports carry both power and data for the wireless MIDI adapters for the ultimate convenience. MC6 Pro shares the same great editor software with the other Morningstar MIDI controllers. The editor has recently been updated with a new and improved interface for an even better editing experience. MC6 Pro can now send up to 32 messages with a single preset. That's twice as many from 16 on the other controllers. If you are coming from another Morningstar MIDI controller, migration is easy. Just back up your controller to your computer and upload it to your new MC6 Pro. All banks and presets will be transferred and stored in the same locations. We have many more exciting videos coming up, diving deeper and showing you more features that MC6 Pro has. So remember to give this video a like if you liked it and also do consider subscribing. We'd love to see you again in our next video.